Well, hey there, I'm Dr. Tom Ulrich, and I like to talk about leadership and engineering, but I'm here today with my two friends, and we'd like to take a moment to talk also about Scrum. Now, I imagine it's intuitively obvious that if you're looking for experts and you really want to know who knows about Scrum, it's these two guys. Uh, if you don't mind, say hello to Nike and say hello to Cohn. And uh, they're, the, they're the world's experts on Scrum. But the question you probably have is, knowing these two little guys are in such high demand, who do you go to for reliable information? Who are the thought leaders in Scrum? Who's writing the important books? What books uh, do you need to read? Where can you get certified and all those things? So that's the topic of uh, this conversation. So let's start off with the thought leaders. So uh, apart from my little uh, puppet friends, um, the, the uh, creators of Scrum are two gentlemen, one named Ken Schwaber and the other named Jeff Sutherland. And um, together they worked out the, the concept of Scrum. It was based on agile principles. And in 2004, Ken uh, published a book that um, really became the definitive book. So when I started using Scrum, this was the, the book that I read. And uh, importantly, there was uh, an enormous change in the world of leadership research right about that time period where the so-called modern uh, leadership paradigms kind of emerged. And it had these ideas of, you know, switching from sort of forcing people to do stuff to helping them people uh, want to do stuff. And it was all correlated with you get much, much higher performance. And Scrum was kind of born right at that time. So it, it fits nicely with sort of inherently with all the modern leadership paradigms. At any rate, so uh, Ken's book. Uh, easy to read, Microsoft Press, fairly small book, but it really became the definitive source. And then uh, in uh, 2013, uh, no, excuse me, 2009, Ken actually wrote a uh, sort of a 12-page uh, handout that's widely distributed in the Internet. Um, he and some others created what's called now called the Scrum Alliance. So with the question of who does the certification, it's called Scrum Alliance. And um, at any rate, he wrote a sort of definitive position paper on um, uh, what is Scrum, about 12 pages long. It's not copyrighted, so I've got a link to it down below. You just click on it. Very wor wor worth reading. And um, in uh, 2014, Jeff Sutherland, the other, the co-creators, wrote this book, The Art of Doing Twice the Work in Half the Time. And that was sort of... Um, the, the first book that Schwaber wrote was really addressed the topic of how do you do Scrum. And this one really addresses the topic of why would you use Scrum. And when Schwaber wrote his book, he was thinking Scrum is a software technique for software engineers. And one of the things Sutherland talks about is how it's getting used in, uh, in a much wider variety of things. So and there's a lot of schools, particularly in Europe, using Scrum. There's you know, uh, broadcast journalists using Scrum. Uh, when I did my PhD, I had every single semester I used Scrum and kind of all these things to keep myself on track. Um, and in the book, uh, one thing Schwaber, uh, excuse me, one thing Sutherland said is he said there really are, at that point, there really were three thought leaders. So it was Schwaber, it was Sutherland, but also then the, the president of the Scrum Alliance, Mike Cohn. So I named my little puppets Nike and Cohn. And uh, that's sort of a shout out to Mike Cohn. So um, Mike is, uh, you know, probably the preeminent trainer today from the beginning of Tandem. He's done all our training. I think we've sent over 100 people to be trained by Mike and his his company, Mountain Goat. But at um, any rate, so those are the three thought, la thought leaders, Jeff Sutherland, Ken Schwaber, and Mike Cohn. Um, by the way, the most recent book, there's quite a few books now, and what you'll see is they're actually in what's called the uh, uh, Mike Cohn Signature Series. So this is the one now that I think most thoroughly ar articulates the modern, the most recent thinking on Scrum. And one thing that's uh, really hard to miss is, you know, when you compare these two books, uh, uh, Ken's was uh, about half as thick as, as Ken, or Ken Schwaber's was half as thick as Ken Rubin's. And it's not like Ken Rubin's using bigger fonts or something. I mean, this, the, the theory of Scrum has been flushed out to so much uh, of a greater degree that now it's, um, you know, it takes a lot more to describe. And at uh, any rate, so what I've done here, I just, I just wanted to cover that. Who are the thought leaders today in the world of Scrum? Uh, the three books and the handout I talked about, I've got links down below. 
And uh, you may be wondering, why am I doing uh, uh, this training? You know, am I selling something? And the answer is no. You know, if you want to get trained in Scrum, you need to go to Mountain Goat and Mike Cohn. He's the preeminent trainer today. Um, you know, my emphasis is really on leadership. And usually when I do talks on leadership, I usually make a point that I talk about leadership and not management. And I usually do have a slide on management. It only says two words, use Scrum. So that's the management te technique that I think is most compatible with uh, the modern leadership paradigms. I think uh, if you're not using it, you're missing out. And I've just given you um, some resources to go to. And um, by the way, on the Scrum Alliance, it's not just that Scrum Alliance defines, they actually do the certification. So if you're looking to hire an expert, one thing you want to be looking for is make sure they are certified by the Scrum Alliance, uh, you know, sort of accept no substitutes. Hey, at any rate, I'm Dr. Tom Ulrich. I'm the engineering leadership guy. Uh, if you don't mind, subscribe, give me a comment, give me a like. That'd be wonderful. You can find more videos at uh, my website, TomAlrichConsulting.com. And then on YouTube, you can simply search for Dr. Tom Ulrich and you'll find a whole bunch of my videos. At any rate, uh, that's all for now. Thanks for listening.